everyone. Today we're going to do a tutorial about how to do indent in Canva. What is an indent and what are the different kinds of indent? Let's start with Wikipedia. So here you see there is a first line indentation, which means the first line is a little bit on the right to of, uh, compare to the rest of the paragraph. This one is where the this part is a bit left, the first line is a bit left to the rest of the paragraph. And block indentation is basically if your text is to the rest of the document starts here, then you, your whole paragraph, the whole block starts a little bit to the right. And here it's both sides. You see here there is an indentation, here there's an indentation. And here this is the same as this one, but more justified. Okay, so that is what is indentation. Now let's see what, how we do this in Canva, the different kinds. I will show you two ways, how to do indentation in Canva designs and how to do indentation in Canva docs and why they are different. So it's pretty simple really. So let's say we are doing an indent, we have a little bit of text here. I don't know why it shows me that over here now. We have the text here and we want to indent this a little bit. This is just a Canva design. So this could be your Instagram story or your um, you know, presentation or any kind of designs that you will find if you go to Canva and you do create a design. So any of these, right? This will be um, except documents. So this is what a design is. Now, if you want to do an indentation in Canva, there is unfortunately no one quick way to do this with a simple click. So if you just, if you want to move the first line on more, here you just put spaces. I'm just entering spaces here. Okay, that's how you move the indentation a bit to the right. And if you want to move the rest of it, then if you just normally in, when we do tabs, in when we do Microsoft Word and we click tabs, it moves. Here, nothing will happen, right? And there are no rulers and guides to move it. Um, so it will have to be a bit manual as well, right? But if you keep clicking here, you will see spaces will also not be added. So one way to do that is then copy this first line you see there is, if, if I copy the C, I've added the spaces here, but it doesn't show in this one. Okay, if we do it left aligned, then what happens? Also doesn't happen. If we do it center, also doesn't happen. But if you, if I click it, you see all these spaces are added, but it will not show. So, sorry, I'm just gonna delete all the spaces here. So the easiest way to do is just do this. Okay, so then the easiest way to do is potentially to copy this, put it in a different text box, right? And the, but I still make it the same as this one. And you move it here and you can make it left aligned. So something like that. You can do it manually. Okay, yeah, a little bit of a perfectionist like that. And then you move it a little bit lower. So this is all manual. So in short, there is no one click option to do the indent in Canva if you're just doing a Canva design. But the good thing is that it gives you immense amount of flexibility. You can move, change your spacing, your alignment, any which way you want. Now let's look at how to do an indent in Canva Docs. So this is a Docs file I have opened. If you're not sure how to do that, if you just go to Home and then you do Canva Docs, then it will just create a document here, start writing, and it will create a doc for you. Now we go back here. So the good thing is that there is a one-click option in Canva Docs to move your text. 
So if I select the whole thing and you see here, it says increase indent. Now I have selected the whole block. So I can just do this and the whole thing moves. I can move it like that and I can move it back. I can also do only the first line. But one thing that you should remember is you can do only a little bit of space here in the first line with this indent option. Like here it says the first line indentation of 2 EM. This is approximately 2 EM as well. If you want to select this and indent it further, it will move the rest of your text as well. So if I just click that and I do that, you see now the whole text is moving even though I have selected only the first line and it will also go to a certain extent after this, this copy will go out of the dock, right? I'm gonna move it back. Now let's move it again and see it will go only once or maybe two times and after, no, it just goes one time because it's two EM space and then it starts to move the whole block. What happens if you try to you know, put, first of all, if I select this, I think, and it can go to only this much, okay? Now, what happens if I want to make this a little bit more like that? So the hanging indent is on the left, so there's the hanging indent is on the left, and I just want to give an indent to this section so that this is on my left and this moves to the right. You will see that it does not happen. The indentation is only the first line indentation. If you want to do a hanging indentation, then you have to follow this process, which is manually. So in short, if you use Canva Docs, you can indent the first line to a certain extent. You can indent the whole block, which, well, here it would basically mean moving the whole block but here because if in your document you might have other things below so for example if I reduce the size of this and I put this here and I do an indent for the whole block it will move the whole block to the right in comparison to the left but that you can also do manually. You just select your text in the Canva design and you just move it left and right however you want. So, so in short, the only difference between doing an indentation in your Canva docs and Canva design is that if you just do a design like an Instagram story or um, as we said, any of these except a document, right? You do a post and you do a Pinterest pin, etc. They will all work in this way, which is completely manual with spaces, with moving the whole boxes around. If you use Canva Docs, what you can do is indent, you can move the whole block of text, right and left. You can indent the first line to the right only by 2 EM. If you want to do more, the whole block text moves along with it. And you cannot do a hanging indent with this option in Canva Docs. You will have to do it manually like here. Hope that was helpful. So yeah, Canva Docs is not a Microsoft Word or and it is not even a Google Docs, but you might need to use a lot of text while you're writing, while you're creating a design, in which case Canva Docs or Canva Design is extremely helpful. You cannot do that so well in Microsoft Word and Google Docs. So yeah, pros and cons. The good thing to know is that you always have an option to do it manually in Canva. And that was it. Happy Canvaing. Bye.